Now, on this show, we like to do a little bit of history when we can. So let's introduce the name of Henry George, because this is not the first time when housing and the, the role of landlords has been highly controversial, is it? That's right. Henry George was the Thomas Piketty, who you may be aware of this capital, French but of economist. his day. Anti-capitalist. And so he wrote a pamphlet uh, at the end of the 19th century, 1879, called Progress and Poverty, and it sold um, three million copies. And his funeral in New York City was the most attended funeral in New York City. And this is, I think, a bit apocryphal. So this is a pamphleteer who is hugely successful, and his argument was that landlords get rich on the back of everybody else. And they get rich on the back of everybody else because rents go up when population growth expands or when the government builds infrastructure, even if the landlord doesn't do anything to help yeah, that. They're just sitting. So, so they are, as it were, his version of Marx's evil capitalists. Exactly. There's sort landlords. of two class arguments yeah. going on in the 19th century. For Marx, the bad guys are the industrialists. For David Ricardo and Henry George, the bad guys are the landowners. And um, by 1909, this sort of spills into British politics, and we have the Liberals' People's Budget. Yeah, attempts the people's to implement Budget the George's and, tax. and that great, great radical hero of the current Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, working alongside Lloyd George, has a plan to kind of shatter the power of the landlords. That's right. I've got, a great, uh, I've got a great quote from that young firebrand, Winston Churchill, here. He says, The land monopolist, and he means landowners, he renders no service to the community, he contributes nothing to the general welfare, he contributes nothing to the process from which his own enrichment is derived. Fantastic. Unfortunately, unfortunately, jumping forward, something happens which rather stymies all of this. Uh, right, which is the First World War. Well, Indeed. something that happens before that, which is the House of Lords tries to knock down the people's budget because they don't want their land taxed. Mm. So then we get the Parliament Act that defangs the House of Lords, and by the time we're about to get a land tax, the First World War intervenes. Mm. 